Welcome to Gluten-Free Kitchen Cafe. No gluten, no rice, no wheat, no corn, no grain. Let's cook. This is my cassava flour and rice flour bread blend. If you can tolerate rice, this is just another alternative to a delicious bread that doesn't even need to be toasted. Our ingredients, one and a quarter cups of cassava flour, three quarters of a cup of rice flour, half a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of sugar, one teaspoon of baking powder, a third of a cup of oil, three tablespoons of sugar, two and a quarter tablespoons of active dry yeast, one and a half cups of water, 110 degrees, three large eggs at room temperature, and two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Make sure your water is not over 110 degrees or your yeast will die. We're gonna add in sugar, give it a good stir, and then the yeast, and then cover it with a tea towel to let it proof for about five minutes. Next, cover your yeast with a tea towel, or I'm using a cloth napkin. Next, we've added the flour, uh, dry ingredients, and two eggs to the mixer. We're doing this while our yeast proofs. Make sure your eggs are at room temperature. Next, we're adding the apple cider vinegar. This is gonna help make your bread rise and add those nice little pockets. Next, we're adding the oil. So, as you can see here, I'm using a paddle mixer for the blender. Uh, don't mix it too hard. Just have it like low medium. You'll, you'll know what's right. Next, we're adding a quarter of a cup of soda water. I use coconut flavor, but you can't taste it. Basically, what we're doing is adding more bubbles to the mix. Next and lastly, we're gonna add our proofed yeast. Make sure your yeast is very fresh. If your yeast is not fresh, your bread is not going to rise. And in our case, we want as much help as possible to make this non-gluten loaf of bread rise. Now just continue to mix. Now don't panic. This is gonna be a rather loose batter, but the cassava flour soaks up a lot of the moisture. And once we proof the dough, you're gonna, your panic is gonna be alleviated. This is gonna make a lovely loaf of bread. So if it feels too loose to you, don't worry. This is exactly how it's supposed to be. So while we're mixing the dough, why don't you subscribe to my channel? Thanks. Go ahead and mix it on medium high for about one and a half to two minutes. I don't think you really need to worry about over mixing this. A quick word about my Patreon. There's only one tier. Everyone gets all the recipes, tips, tricks, and access to all giveaways and contests. It's only $5 a month. The link will be in the description below. Thank you. Rolling. Now it's time to turn your oven warmer on for five minutes. Get out your saran wrap or plastic cling wrap. Straighten it out fairly well and spray some Pam on there. If you don't have spray Pam, you can just use some oil and a brush. Now press it down and get all the air pockets out onto your dough. Go ahead and cover your bowl with a tea towel. I'm just using the same napkin I used to proof the yeast. Now turn the oven off and I'm gonna place it on a cookie sheet 
into a warm oven and I'm gonna let it proof for about 45 minutes. So remember to set your timer. Now that your dough is proofed, spray your bread pan, which I'm using a silicone bread pan, but you can use a metal one. It doesn't matter, I just prefer this one. Now that your dough is proofed and you've sprayed your pan, go ahead and pour your dough into the bread pan. Be fairly gentle with it because you don't want to pop too many of those air bubbles that the yeast have created. And don't worry, it's going to re-rise while we're waiting for the oven to reheat. Next, we're going to spray it with some Pam and take our spatula and just kind of smooth the bread out a little bit. Just be gentle. Don't pop any bubbles or press too hard. We just want a nice top for our bread. Next, we're just gonna take our saran wrap that we've already used, place it over the bread pan and press out any bubbles just like we did before. Next, get your tea towel or napkin, which I'm just gonna use the same one I've been using and place it over the bread pan just to keep the warmth in from when it was rising in the oven. Watch this magic trick. Turn your oven on to 380 degrees. Look at that, it re-rose. Now you still need to be very gentle with this loaf my loaf here is kind of overflowing on the side, so I'm just going to gently use my spatula and kind of put everything back in place. And now it's time to bake. Put your bread in your oven. Just be gentle with it. Don't plop it down on the cookie sheet. In the first phase of baking, we're gonna bake it at 380 degrees for 16 minutes. After 16 minutes, we're gonna turn the temperature down to 360 degrees for about an hour, 59 minutes, let's say. And here's our bread. Yes, it is still a short loaf of bread, but I can guarantee you 100% you've never tasted gluten-free bread like this. It tastes just like regular wheat bread. Now, go to the fridge, get some stuff, and make yourself a sandwich. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Remember to click like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I post two to three videos a week. See you soon.